Yeah. Doris. I'm, doing I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, the, the microphone wasn't on. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining yes. us. Um, so today's lesson is going to be on closing instructions and same day pay. Hi, Doris. Hi there. Can everybody see that OK? The dot loop? Uh huh. Perfect. All right, so you go to add document, you go into templates, and then you go to the star search, no neighbor or NW, and then I just type in closing and closing instructions to title slash same day. We're going to hit copy, hit OK. Scroll down a little bit. Open it. And then it, if you know your, you can enter your buyer information and your property information here. If you'd like it to autofill. And then uh, Lynn, closing settlement company, closing agent. What do we enter here? That's the title company. So we're going to say it's Sunbelt title in this instance. Estimated close day has to be filled in. Uh, we're going to go mid-February for this one. Closing agent contact name. Uh, usually, you, I, for Sunbelt, I'd put Cindy Dunn's name. Cindy Dunn. Unless they're working with somebody else, but okay. I think Cindy's the main one. Perfect. And closing agent email. And that's Fort Myers at sunbelttitle.com for Sunbelt. It's very important to have an email address there because that's the that's what Robin uses to send the wiring instructions. So that's critically important there. Enter the property address and then we enter in the seller or seller's names. How much was the property, Len? I'll put two fifty. Was this our listing or our sale? We'll say this is our listing, so it's Cobble Banker there. And we'll say listing associates Doris Foster. We'll do three percent. You don't have to put anything there. If there's anything else, anything else that you want to add right there, that's where you add it. Um, selling brokerage would be let's put we we'll do it when we sold it in house. Okay, there we go. And Jen Cottrell is the selling agent. Three percent. Nothing there. Okay, now this is the part that's very important. Uh, one of the 345 from the buyer and from the seller. Just make sure you never forget to check those boxes. Now, the request for same day pay, this is what confuses people. That doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get your, your check the, the deposited into your bank account that day. It, what it means is you're going to get a paper check at the closing table. Just like, you know, months before COVID hit, when you had a same day pay, you went to the closing, they handed you a check at the closing table. That's what that means. So don't let that confuse you with, are uh, you thinking that you're going to get money deposited into your account by way of a wire and you don't have to go to the closing? That's not what that means. And those also has to it has to be submitted in order to get the same day pay five to seven days prior to closing. 
the this form has to be in home base and you can send it directly to home base from dot loop and you only fill out the top part the bottom part robin will will uh, complete and she will send it to the uh, title company Okay. But you still need to send, but you still need to notify your title company of, of all of the particulars also with along with a copy of the contract. Just because we send this form doesn't mean you shouldn't notify the title company of, of everything. Now, if you don't do this form, then Robin does nothing. There will there will be no closing instructions sent to the title company, no wiring instructions sent to the title company at all. And that the title company then will just uh, do a closing just the, the old fashioned way where you have to come to the closing, pick up the checks and bring them back here to the office. Now, through this system, would you do the save and share to file it or would you go up to the file to file it? No, you're going to go back once once it's filled out, you're going to go back. You're going to go back. Click, click no. You're going to check it and then there's a little button that comes up that says send to home base. Gotcha. And that's how it gets to home base. That's okay. the easiest way anyway. So, so the question that was just asked is once that's completed, how do we send it to home base? So we just check this little box here and then we go here and click send to home base and it'll automatically send it right there to central processing team. Lynn, anything to add? <clears throat> Does anybody have any questions? Okay. Well, if there are no questions, then I thank you for your time today. I thank you for joining us. And uh, you know, as you're you're going through this, if you do have questions, please don't hesitate. To reach out to Lynn, Maria, or myself, we're all here to help you and happy to do so. Reach out anytime. Thank you. Bye, Doris. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for coming. You're welcome. <laughs> Let's see the other one.